daddy call him out. Kinda told you before that it's over. Leave me alone. I was trying you to see me gone. Sometimes you won't see me gone. I won't go Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today's video I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do that insane transition that you've just seen on screen. I've also made this pretty easy to follow along so just watch the whole video and you should be covered and this should be pretty easy for you to do. I've also dropped the free project file in the Google Drive so if you need any help or get stuck then that's there for you. Finally guys, you can just do me a quick favour because this video did take quite a lot of time to make by just dropping a like and subscribing to the channel with post notifications on that would mean the absolute world to me. Anyways guys, enjoy the video. Alright guys, so first thing I've gone ahead and done quickly just so I don't waste any time is basically what you want to go ahead and do is get your clip, add your velocity and you can add a preset if you want, I just can't be bothered to do that because yeah. Uh, basically what you want to go ahead and do is then after the kill has happened, you want to find an area that you think would look good to mask out or is easy to mask out. And then basically what you want to go ahead and do is you want to right click, insert, remove and add a freeze frame at cursor at that point. So I've done this here. And then what I've gone ahead and done is I've just masked out the character. So you want to press the pan and crop tool, go to mask, and then choose this sort of anchor creation tool. And then you just want to draw dots around all these sides to get a clean mask out just like that. So once you've gone ahead and masked it out, you want to make sure that at the start it is at a 0% uh, velocity, so it's still. And then you want to stretch this out 50 frames. So you go to the bottom here, then go plus 50 and make sure that this ends right there. Now you've gone ahead and done this, you want to basically uh, copy this and then paste it on the layer below. Now, by the way, you do want to insert a new video track right here and then place the masked one on top. Then you can go ahead and press U to remove the audio. And here you want to go to the start of the clip. You want to uh, hover over this and reset the mask that you've just done. And then we're going to go to the position and we're just going to make this a lot bigger. And then you can basically customize it to the sort of size you want. I think around here it looks good. All right, guys, so once you've gone ahead and got yourself in this position right here, it's pretty easy. All you have to go ahead and do is split the clip in the middle or around there, it doesn't have to be precise. Then you just want to go a little bit after wherever your impact is, split the clip, and basically you want to go ahead and apply your regular transitions. If you don't have these, even though a lot of people in Vegas do already have these, I'll link a video below that I'm pretty sure every single person has got their uh, transitions from. But yeah, they're free, they're easy to download, and there's no point of me making my own because basically everyone has them. So you just want to uh, hold control on both the frames and move them across. So that's your zoom in, so it's going to zoom into this clip. Then you want to go onto effects of this one, and you want to go to zoom in B. And then you can go ahead and apply the same one on the clip below that. So basically, all that's going to do is just, you know, zoom in and make it flow nicely into each other. Uh, when it's, you know, rendered, it will look much better than that. Then this is what the good part is. What you want to go ahead and do is add my preset, which is going to be linked in the Google Drive below. Just go to the effects, use preset manager to download it if you haven't got that. I've made a video on how to use that as well, so you can go ahead and check that out if you need to. It's called Tarot Flip A, so this is going to be the flip transition. You want to go ahead and hit OK. Then hold control and click on every single one of these keyframes here. And then you want to go ahead and move this all the way to the right. And as you can see, what this is going to do is it's going to flip your character as it moves on. And then you can go ahead and copy. And you can go ahead and selectively paste event attributes and choose the video effects and keyframes. And that is going to uh, apply the same flip transition as well on there. Right guys, next thing you want to go ahead and do is apply your next clip. So go ahead and add that in. You want to go to insert remove envelope, freeze frame at cursor. Then you want to move 50 frames forward, split the clip here, and then we're going to go ahead and reset all the velocity here. Then you're going to have your clip playing. Here you want to go ahead and mask this, so I'll meet you guys once you've gone ahead and mask this out. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and masked out your character a lot better than I did, because as you can see that is an absolutely horrible job, but I only spent about 15 seconds on it, so spend a bit more time than that and make it more accurate. Basically what you want to go ahead and do is uh, hold control, drag down a new at the same layer, then you want to go to the pan and crop tool, go to the start of the clip and reset the mask. And then you can go back to the previous background clip that you used and then copy the width of it and paste it into the position and the width of this one. So then the background sort of clip is going to be the same size each time. Then you can go ahead and apply the second preset, which is going to be the tarot flip B. Go ahead and apply that on both of the layers here. Again, you can copy and paste event attributes if you want. And as you can see, that's just going to add you a nice flip transition on there. Now, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and go to both of your layers and then go to video effects. Go to shake, if I can, or I can't spell, <laughs> go to shake. And then you want to go and choose uh, the default version and just copy the settings I do here. Now, make sure you apply this on the whole layer. So it's going to have a little bit of shake. It's going to be not that noticeable, but yeah, it's definitely going to help make the video a lot smoother and cleaner. So as you can see, just go ahead and copy those settings right there and apply it onto the layer above as well. Then you can go ahead and insert a new video track, drop this one below 
and then apply any sort of overlay you want. I've got this free one in the Google Drive if you want to go ahead and use that. Now, depending on the speed, um, if you're using this specific one here, I would just insert remove envelope and just change this to about 50% just so it's a lot slower. But yeah, it's just a nice compliment in the background. You can basically add whatever you want in the background, whatever you think looks good. You can blur it, you can do anything that you want and that will look absolutely insane. So there you go, guys. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. You just got to use the presets. And again, if you want to go ahead and use the project file, it's going to be in there below so you can check that you've done it completely correct. I'd say it's a pretty easy and so there you go guys that's the whole effect done it's pretty easy and looks so so good you can really you know be quite customizable with it you can change a lot of stuff around for example if you want to make the skin look like a sort of cartoon which uh, i've previously done in videos which is pretty nice just add vcc cartoon look onto the skin and as you can see it kind of makes it more defined and i think it looks really really good um also you can go ahead and then do this onto the next one and yeah it, it, you can do a lot of things it's really customizable really good effect make sure to go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel with post notifications on if you could that mean the absolute world to me also at 3000 supporters i'm doing a free edit pack so make sure you're using code tarot in the item shop literally it takes two seconds go into fortnite put in code tarot and you could have a free edit pack soon and finally if you want to support me and just basically take your editing to the next level make sure to go ahead and check out my editing pack link in the description it's got absolutely everything you need with more effects just like this presets color corrections everything you need Thanks guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one boys. Peace.